Beyond the Sea or La Mer is such a great song and it was high up on your wish list, so here it is as a chord melody arrangement. How my dear little, gentle, little jazz bees around the globe? Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. I'll show you everything slow and easy and there is also a slow tempo version towards the end of this lesson. I've made tabs and backing tracks which you can download from the link down below in the description box. Please also check out my lesson shop guitarversum.com for more lesson material like this one. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel or even join the channel if you want to support it. And now let's go beyond the sea. We're in the key of F and we have a rather unusual song form, A-A-B-A, -A -A, that's normal, but each of these sections are 12 bars long instead of 8 bars. And so let's start with the first 5 bars of the A1 section. Uh, I start with the uh, C and then I have half bar for the F6-9, first chord F, then the open G string, first fret of B and first fret of the E string. So that's an F6-9 chord. Now go to the 6th degree of the scale, that's D minor. We have a 1, 6, 2, 5 in the beginning and that goes throughout the whole tune actually. D minor 7, 5, 3, 5, 6. I start with the bass on the A string and then the other three st uh, strings follow twice. Then this, uh, the 2 degree, the 2nd degree, G minor. That's G here, F, B flat, and another F. And then we go over to the C7, the 5 chord. I think you all know that. 3, 5, 3, 5, inner 4 strings. Then we have some melody. 6th fret of B and the 3rd fret of the E string by barring. And now we have another 1, 6, 2, 5. F major here this time. 3, 5, 5, 3, here's the F. Then the D minor 7 or 11, 5, then I just play the upper three strings, 5, 6, 5. Then the B string again, and here comes the 2 chord G minor again, this time no 7, just the G minor, 3, 3, 3, 3, upper three strings. Then the 5 chord C7 as before, but now the melody is lift the pinky and you get the D here on the 3rd fret of the B string the C on the 5th uh, of the G string. And now we go to F again. I don't go to this F but to this one. It's actually the same. Same voicing. Uh, 8, 10, 9, 10. But why do I do this? Because this would have been closer. Now we have a nice secondary dominant, the A7. And it's just easier to go down here. So A that's, I think you know this, A7, 5, and then I play the um, D, G, and B string, 5, 6, 8, twice, and D minor, the resolution, D minor 7 here, 5, 7, 5, 6, inner 4 strings, and that was it for the first phrase, I'm going to play this for you at slow tempo now, um, so you can follow along, 1, 2, 3, And here are the next seven bars, actually the last seven bars of the A1 section, including the first ending. We start with an E diminished, that stands for C7 flat 9. We have 7, 8, 6, 8 of the inner four strings. Then this melody, 5, 6, and it resolves to F, 6, 9. That's here's the F, 8, 7, 7, 8, 8. Then the middle finger goes to the F and the rest of the D minor 11 chord follows. You could play a D minor 7 if you like to. I chose the uh, more uh, modern version. 5-5-5-6. Five, 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 I prefer the minor 11 chords. Also easier to fret. Then the B string again. Then we go up to that G minor 7 up here. 
That's 10, 12, 10, 11, and we go all the way till the 10th of the E string. So you need to strum through this. And then I have a little filler, the D7 sharp 5, 10, 11, 11, 10. I play it twice. I also strum through it, and the G minor 7 again. So we have this little fill here, okay? to the 5 chord, C13, 8, 9, 10, 8, here's the root, then a B string, then I lift it and have the 8th fret coming up, D minor 11 again, and now lift your middle finger, and we have a B flat 6, the 6 is the e, uh, B flat, then the 5 is already lying here, and the 7 of the G string. So I remain everything. I don't kind of switch my fingers around. I just move this down here and the pinky on the on the D. So the seventh fret of the G string. Then the ring finger goes on the F, sixth of the B. And now we have the first ending, uh, the last two bars. I go down to G minor. That's three, 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 and a little bass line fill. That takes me to the C7, G, A, B flat, that's the G Dorian scale. And C7, guess you know that, 3, 2, 3, 1, inner four strings. Then with a little takeoff, no, takeoff is probably wrong. I mean, I lift my fingers up. And I, it starts all over again. So let me repeat those seven bars, phrase number two. One, two. Phrase three is actually the last two bars of the A2 section, so please repeat everything except for the last two bars, okay? Except for that G minor that went to uh, C7, because now we directly go to C7. And you know this chord I showed you before, but this time we play the upper three strings. So we have three, uh, then three, five, three. Then the fill on the bass, upper three strings, right? And F6-9, the beginning chord actually, is now at the end too. I play it twice. And now an E7, all really simple chords, for being jazz chords actually. So that's seven, six, seven, five in a four strings. If you wanna learn more about the basic jazz chords, please check out my tutorial. I'm gonna put a card up here for the uh, 10 easy jazz guitar chords, okay? That's the basic knowledge you need to know. If you wanna know even more, check out my tension tutorial videos on tension chords. Okay, th so this E7 takes us to the upcoming A6-9 chord in the B section. So that's basically it. Here is uh, phrase number three in s at slow tempo. You can support this channel and help keep the free videos running by joining the channel. You can do so by clicking the join button right next to the subscribe button below the video and you'll also get some neat perks for it. Welcome to the B section. These are the first six bars and the good news is you know the first four bars already because they're the same as the first four bars of the song but in a different key. We, we are now in A major and all you have to do is move everything from the F. This was the starting chord. Four frets up to the A. One, two, three, four. Of course we don't have open strings here so we need to replace them and what we get is the five of A and the upper three strings is uh, four, five, five. So that's an A6-9 now. The sixth degree is an F sharp minor seven. That's uh, 9, 7, 9, 10. B minor, 7, that's uh, 7 and se 7, 7, 10. It's just the same thing. Then the E7 melody, that was the 
10th and the 7th of the E. The A major 7, to 7, 9, 9, 9. F sharp minor 7, that's um, 9, 9, 10, 9. B string again, still everything the same as in the uh, phrase one. Seven, 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 that's B minor. E7 again with this melody. Seven of B and ninth of the G. And now bar, bars five and six are different because they don't have any melody anymore. It's just filler chords that take us over to another key and uh, some uh, rhythm kicks. We are B, uh, A, A69, but this time with the um, 5, 4, 4, 5, the inner of three strings. Twice, F sharp minor 7, 2, 2, 2, 5. Then I repeat the upper three strings of this voicing. Then G13, I'll leave this here, 3, 3, 4, 5, here is the G. And then at G13, the upper version of this same chord. That's 3, 4, 5, 3. And this G13 takes us to C. That's going to be the next phrase. Now let me repeat this uh, phrase. Number 4. 3, 4. And on we go with the next six bars, the last six bars of the B section, and the first four bars are the same chord progression again, just three more tones higher. We were on A, this is C now, right? So C6, 9, 8, 7, 8, 8. Then the sixth chord is the A minor. We, we play the bass first. It's the same chord progression, so. I'm not going to explain this anymore. D minor, the G7, C major 7, then the A minor, the B string again, D minor, G7. And now the last two bars are different. We have a C69 again. That was 8, 7, 8, 8. And I played the uh, the high E string three times, actually two more times. And then a whole chord again. And here's the turnaround that takes us back to the A section, G minor 11, because I need that C up here. That's three, 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 one. Then our little bass run again. Open A string, B flat, and the C7. Three, two, three, one and a pickup that leads us to the A1 section. So here's phrase five at slow tempo. Three, four. Check out my beginner-friendly chord melody starter pack for five easy chord melody taps like Autumn Leaves or Misty.
If you want to dig deeper into chord melody, check out my chord melody playlist and of course my uh, chords playlist because that's basic knowledge. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a fair thumbs up so it's seen by many more views and you help my channel grow. I hope to see you next week. Servus, baba. Thank you.